little change of uh, plans for this video. Going to do some maintenance on my machine. So I've noticed recently when trying to pull start uh, the motor, it's a hand start unit so it's harder to pull and get it started. Uh, most likely this means the decompression port needs to be cleaned out. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show everyone out there how to do a little maintenance on your machine. Um, there's a lot more maintenance that can be done, however this is what I'm going to be doing today, so let's dive in and take a look. Alright, so let's take a closer look at uh, the machine here. In here, inside this head is where the cylinder is and the piston that has the decompression port that needs to be cleaned out. The decompression port runs diagonally up through here into this exhaust chamber. So we need to remove this bolt, a pair of bolts on the back end, one on this side, one underneath right here, and then we need to remove four head bolts. One, two, three, four. Let's get these mounts taken off here. I always make sure to keep the washers in the same position that they were in. All right, that's free and clear. And while I am taking these apart, I'm going to be visually inspecting every one of these uh, vibration mounts or dampeners, uh, vibration dampeners, so that uh, if they need to be replaced, I can replace them. I've already ordered uh, and received a maintenance kit from um, Southern Skies, which sells all the Fresh Breeze products. All right, I've turned the motor around here. Let's get these back ones undone. So before I remove these motor mounts right here, I want to make sure these head bolts are loosened. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen those up. I'm using a 12 millimeter deep socket here. Huh. And this one was used, these two were using an Allen wrench. Okay, those are loose. So now I want to get back to these engine mounts and see if we can't get these going. All right, and we're going to take these out. Now we need to go ahead and remove these four head bolts. Underneath this bracket that was being held on here is where the last two head bolts are up there. So I'm going to continue to use this 12 millimeter deep socket and loosen those up. All right, so there are some washers connected to this. I want to make sure I keep in the right order. There's a large and a small washer and the small washer goes right up against the nut. Now that I've gotten all the bull heads removed, 
I think we just need to slide this head down. At the bottom of this, you can see that there's the spark plug, the head of the spark plug right there. So I'll need to clean this out. I'm gonna replace, actually this might not need to be replaced, but I'm gonna put this back in. This is the seal. And let me try to give you guys a good look underneath here. And there is a good look at the decompression port that needs to be cleaned. So the decompression port is, I'll point to it with the tool right there. So I need to get in there with a drill bit and clean it out. One of the tricks for cleaning out this carbon that's built up on the underside here is just to use a scrap piece of wood and you should be able to get a lot of that up without damaging any part of the inside of the cylinder. I, you know, it might look like I'm scraping pretty hard, but really this is coming up pretty easily. And after I'm done with this piece of wood, I'll probably take some really fine sandpaper, maybe 220 or something a little finer and go over it. Nothing that's gonna scar uh, the inside of this cylinder. All right, so I've got a piece of uh, 400 grit sandpaper here that I've been going around the edges on. So you can see I've gotten the top nice and smooth, the inside smooth on this side, and now I'm gonna work on this side right here. Um, this isn't damaging the metal at all. It's just getting all the carbon buildup that's in here out. So um, I've also got a can of compressed air here that I'm using to clean out. Um, so I'm gonna keep going and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so I'm just finishing up here, cleaning around the O-ring fitting where I'm gonna put this back in, but as you can see, I've got it pretty cleaned out, and it's looking a lot better than it was, for sure. I'm also going through the bottom of this head where the spark plug screws in to make sure all the threads are clean in there where all that debris was falling. So to make sure it's nice and clean on the inside, all those threads look good in there. So the next step of the process is gonna to be to actually get inside that decompression port, go through it with a drill bit by hand, not with the drill first. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a 332nd drill bit. And this is gonna be a little hard to see with my hand in the way, but there, I'm just sticking the drill bit up in there all right, so I did that with a 332nd, and then I'm going to finish the job with a 1 8 drill bit. Not going to go any larger than that. And this may require the actual drill. Getting the hole started with the 332nd was key because I have the hole already started. So I know the alignment of the hole, and I know exactly how that's going to fit. And again, using a very slow setting. Let's see if I can't give you guys a better angle here. So. All right. So you can clearly see right there, the hole is a lot better than it was. And now I'm going to go ahead and clean the top of this piston uh, and see if I can't get some of the carbon built up on that to be scraped off. I'm going to use the same process, a piece of wood and finishing off with 
a piece of 400 grit sandpaper. So I wanted everyone to have some sort of visual of how this is working out, but this carbon scrapes off pretty easily. It just comes off in flakes. And I want to work my way all the way around this piston head. I'm going to go around it with a piece of the 400 grit sandpaper. Let's see if we can get this a little more cleaned up. The sandpaper gets pretty mucky right where you do it, so you know you're getting uh, some material off of there. That is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to take a baby wipe and a screwdriver and just kind of go around the edges. I'm using the baby wipe to make sure the screwdriver doesn't scratch the piston head, but it still is able to press the baby wipe into the corners. Alright, so now we're ready to go ahead and slide this back up on the head here into these head bolts. Now, I did go ahead and install that O-ring back in that O-ring gasket. Alright, slide it right on up. Now I've got to get my rubber mounts. Now I need to put on this last motor mount. So the whole engine is put back together now. So the next step is to take it outside, prime it, and let's see how it starts. All right, so the moment of truth here. We are going to go ahead and turn on the fuel line and give it two primes. Gonna check the throttle lever, make sure it comes back. All right, everything looks good. Let's give her a pull. So the motor started up pretty easily, which is exactly what we were hoping for. 
I'm going to take this out to the field so I don't annoy my neighbors and let it run for about 5-10 minutes. I'm going to check for any leaks in the bolt heads and retighten the bolt heads if needed, retorque them. And that is how to clean out your decompression port. Let's go, guys. As you can see, that decompression port cleaning went well. Uh, I will be doing more maintenance videos as needed on my machine, and uh, I think it's good to be able to do your own maintenance. You get to know your machine better, etc. So, if you guys like, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe for more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I can always use some more. And uh, I hope to see you guys up here in the future. Anybody has any comments or questions, hit me up in the comment section below, and uh, I'll get back to you. I try to answer everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Also, if you want to see me flying at the beach, I flew in Avalon, New Jersey over the 4th of July, so uh, check out that link coming right up. Ew. What's up, bro? <laughs>